So as we continue with worship, we enter into a time of prayer. And today we're going to go to two very specific kinds of prayer. I'm going to give several petitions, and we'll pray for people and those around us, and then we'll move into the Lord's Prayer, a prayer that our Lord gave us. As his disciples saw him praying, they said, Lord, teach us to pray. And he gave, them, gave us the Lord's Prayer. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the privilege it is to come to you and to pray. And we know that you hear our prayers even before we speak them. But yet we bring to you people who we are concerned about and people who we are asking that you would touch in a very special way. Today, Father, we pray for Molly Boffman in the hospital and a portion of our members with ongoing health needs for Marilyn Norris, Gary Osborne, Linda Paparotis, Dave Perdue, Jackie Ray, Joe Randazio, Ted Schindler, Catherine Shapiro, and Sam Short. And Father, we pray for those who have lost their lives, for those families who are mourning, who are grieving, particularly the families who have lost loved ones because of this virus. We also pray, Father, for the Burkhart family at the loss of Karen's mother, for the Simcox family at the loss of Boyer, and for the Wharton family at the loss of Dick. Be with them, Father. Help them to remember that there's a resurrection. And Father, we continue to pray for area churches, like us trying to figure out how to do church and gather people and care for people in a real way. We today pray for Advent Evangelical Lutheran Church, Agape Christian Church, Advent Lutheran Church, and Ascension Lutheran Church. Father, we pray for patients who have gone through the COVID-19 virus. Continue to heal them, Father, comfort them, and particularly, Father, as they feel alone, help them to know that you are with them. We pray for healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, first responders, mental health workers who are all on the front line. Continue to give them strength. Continue, Father, to give them hope. Be with them. For people experiencing this, these large ranges of emotion, fear, anxiety, discouragement, lo loneliness, Father, bring hope and joy into our lives that we would learn to depend upon you and that we would find peace in you. And Father, for those who have lost their jobs, be with them, Father. Give them hope. Help us as a body of Christ come around them. May they know that you are in charge and that there is more to life than their work and that we could come alongside and meet their physical needs. And Father, we do pray for our nation, our leaders, our state and local leaders, Father, all who are making decisions that will affect us all. We pray, Father, for wisdom for them, that you would surround them with people who know you and that you would speak into their lives and that they would follow you. And Father, as we live this new life in this new way, we pray, Lord, that we would follow you and that you would be the one who leads us forward. And so now, Lord, we come to you and we pray the prayer that our Lord Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, I'm sure if you're like me, that there's a time that we need to come before the Lord and ask for his forgiveness. And so I've gone back to an old liturgy that we use often in our traditional service, but I find comfort in some of these words that are things that we grew up with. So I continue in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Take a moment to bring your sins before the throne of God and ask him to just take them away. I continue to pray. We confess that without Christ we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. 
For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Now hear this good news. To all who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become children of God and bestows upon them his Holy Spirit. In his mercy, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, has given his only Son to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all of our sin. By his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all of your sin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. We continue now with worship. <laughs> 